Answer a question okay, before sure, the interview is over. You answer uh, I would say because it's fun and it's celebratory, but it doesn't need to be a special occasion to open up a bottle of bubbly. Mm-hmm. And it's such a diverse category, people seem to sort of put it into sort of one lane, but there's so much in the sparkling spectrum that makes it an exciting category to further explore through whether it's the Instagram page or more technical sort of exploration on our blog. It's mm-hmm. just super fun to explore. Okay. We've always been fans of sparkling. I mean, going back, you know, 10, 11 years now, um, it's always been our go-to wine, and I don't know, you know, so many people now, we were at Fitzpatrick, and uh, their hashtag is why wait to celebrate, and that's kind of in our motto, we love to open up a bottle of bubbly on a Monday night, or a Tuesday, or, yeah. you know, with some bad reality TV, which yeah. we probably watch a little bit too much of. But, <laughs> we all um, do. Yeah. <laughs> so. And if you can have a beer on a Tuesday, why can't you have a glass of Prosecco, or, it's you know, totally. some cava? Yep. Or, you know, if, if it's, you know, good times and you're making a lot of money, some champagne on a Tuesday, why not? You know? Exactly. Well, and I I have a very similar mindset. My view has always been, why wait? Yeah. Just open something and then that creates the occasion. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, and yeah. it's the wine that makes the moment. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so what are some favorite food and sparkling pairings for you guys that are particularly memorable? Um, truffle fries. Oh. And with sparkling. Yes, absolutely. Any particular sparkling or? Uh, you know what, it goes well with everything, but like a nice champagne. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's a lovely pairing. Yeah. Um, I love a, a Lambrusco or like a sparkling red yeah. um, with pizza or charcuterie. Mm-hmm. Delicious. That would be really mm-hmm. good. Um, for second on its own, you know, it's yeah. like Tuesday or in the backyard, spring is in the air. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. uh, I'm trying to think what else would pizza that was yours. Your suggestion fried chicken fried oh, chicken yeah. a good choice yeah fish tacos um, yeah 
that and he's been fried. We had a friend over, we barbecued steak and we had sparkling rosé, like an extended leasing sparkling nice. rosé from Ontario. Yeah. Lovely with steak, very yeah. small fuller body. The possibilities yeah. are endless. So can you share with everybody why sparkling works so well with food? Yeah, um, the naturally high acid, of course, really cleanses the palate, and mm -hmm. as well as you know the, the CO two really helps to clean your palate in between bites, and that's why I love it with you know charcuterie and stuff like that, where there's a lot of different flavors going on. Yeah. Um, fatty foods also. Fatty foods, yeah. yeah. Something nice and fried, really. Fried, dead, good. and laid to the side. Yeah. <laughs> Grease. 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 Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I want to do something uh, kind of fun. Um, I want to do a rapid fire question with, with these guys. So I have 10 different moments, situations, what have you, and whatever comes to mind immediately. Just okay. blurt it out. Pr Tuesday night. Prosecco. Birthday dinner. 2004 Boulanger Rosé. Okay. Bathtub. Um, bathtub. Ooh, something pink I feel like is fun. So maybe, let's say a Cremant. Okay. Friday after a few bottles. Something cheap and cheerful, you know, something uh, kind of under fifteen dollars at the your local liquor store, you know. <laughs> yeah, you don't uh, save the best for last. CO two injected? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not that desperate. Maybe. Let's say kava. Kava. Okay. Oysters. Champagne for sure. Anniversary? Maybe a blanc de blanc. Yeah, a blanc de blanc. Oh, either would work. Okay. Uh, anniversary. Ooh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say the Boulanger Grandonnet only because bowl, bowl is kind of our jam, it's our favorite. But um, yeah, I also like to, for a special occasion like that, like to pull out a special bottle that we've picked up somewhere. Like some of the stuff we've got here, you know, we'll, okay. we're not able to get that back home. Yeah, that so let's say the Blue Mountain Brut Reserve. Okay, that would be a that's a good choice. one. Yeah. Lovely wine. Uh, we had it in a hot tub yesterday in Revelstoke. So yeah. the other bottle there will be There you go, bubbles in hot tub. <laughs> Why not? It works every time. Uh, promotion. I don't know. You, <laughs> you guys have just turned into Okay, chunky. promotion, it's got to be a magnum. So you, cause you oh, got to be yeah. a boss and go all out. Follow. So let's do a magnum of champagne. Okay. Yeah. Uh, poolside. Poolside. Rosé. Sparkling rosé. Sparkling rosé. Okay. In flight. Ooh, they have that little, those little bottles of Prosecco gold. Yeah. And like, on the way here, the flight attendant, I think, had a little crush on us. So he just kept bringing them. Nice. I'm into it. <laughs> yeah. Free so Prosecco, like, I'm you know? not complaining. Yeah. Keep them coming. Yeah. Uh, and lastly, shitty reality TV. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I think it goes for a good bottle. You know, it's kind of an oxymoron. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay, so what kind of, are we talking like The Bachelor or worse? Uh, let's say Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Oh, oh that would never happen at our house, but this okay, is a, it's a watch? fantasy. What do you watch? The only thing Paul's Drag, right? Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 I love that show. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like a sparkling rosé. Let's say like a... Uh, Cremante Bourgogne? Yeah, let's do okay. that. Okay, awesome. So I always finish off every video with uh, three death row wines. So you're on death row, oh. you're about to, whatever, sit in the electrical chair and you're given three wines to have okay. with your last meal, what would they be? And it doesn't have to be just bubble. It probably it would, would be. just be bubble. Be the okay. best way to <laughs> um, do you want to take that one? Is, it, is that your way to make me answer the question because you can't think of what you would have? No, I got uh, I feel like that's the case. Okay. So I would say Bowley. Um, then I would do a 1989 Grand Dam just because we had it and it was oh, kind of amazing. Was amazing. Nice. Uh, and then while I'm reaching for the stars, I would say just to make you know the last moments a little bit like, you know, extra festive, extra festive, like uh, maybe a Bella Poke. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Do you want to throw anything in? I'm or? down with that. Okay. Yeah. I'm down with We're that. Are we being executed <laughs> together? Does he get three choices? What's the deal? I don't know. Choose your own adventure. Yeah. <laughs> no, those are all good. Yeah. Although, you know, keeping uh, this sort of on brand and in theme with the Canada trip, I would, I'm also down with like a coast to coast tour. Something from Benjamin Bridge from Nova Scotia. Beautiful bottle. From Ontario, maybe Q's, Rosalie, and then something from BC. I wouldn't be mad about that. Either. That would be a very okay, Canadian way to Very too. Canadian Support way to Support the local out. economy yeah. Yeah. before petering out, you know? Awesome, I like it. <clears throat> well, that concludes my interview with Mike and Jeff of Sparkling Winos. Make sure you follow them on Instagram and check out their blog. And again, Laura here with Silk and Coop. Thank you for tuning in. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>